yeah, you know, last week um, played a really good football team. Thought we did uh, some things, uh, some things decently, you know, and other things uh, we didn't do so great. Um, you know, the biggest thing that uh, the biggest um, probably negative that we took away from the game is just uh, some of the some of the way we played during the game. You know, hurt ourselves with some penalties. Um, you know, got uh, we had our, one of our one of our best O linemen. Um, you know, got out of his got out of his uh, personality a little bit and got frustrated. And then all of a sudden, you, you take him out of the game. He gets ejected, and you and you insert a true freshman. So um, had some woes there. Um, and just trying to learn those things. You know, trying to talk about those things yesterday, and and make sure that as a team we understand how those things affect us um, as a whole. Um, and how it affected us the other night, just some of the penalties that we had and, and different things like that. So that was probably my biggest takeaway just from a negative standpoint is just, um, you know, we didn't play very clean. And, um, and, and we've done that all year uh, this year. You know, we've been one of the least penalized teams in the, in the uh, conference and, and uh, she's one of the least penalized teams in the country up to this point in the past two weeks. Um, you know, we've, we've kind of done some dumb things. So we've got to clean that up. But, um, you know, other than that, I thought that, um, you know our guys uh, competed uh, competed uh, very well. Um, you know I think if we would have we'd have kicked one more field goal, um, we'd have scored a, another point or uh, there at the end of the game. I think we would have scored the, the most points uh, given up uh, by Jacksonville State versus an FCS opponent. Um, you know and and uh, so some things right there on film that uh, that we watched and that we can improve on and that we can look at and and show some positives but uh, obviously there's also some things that we've got to got to get better at moving forward especially for these last two ball games that we have um, and more importantly this one this week is just the only one that we have this week and um, you know just um, trying to really finish this season out on a strong positive note these last two uh, weeks going into recruiting and going into an off season uh, right there that's our main focus right now. Do you feel like the penalties, we talked about that, the, the last six, seven weeks, at least been a last team, do you feel like the penalties are coming in a situation where the competition is at its highest, where your team believes they should be winning and they aren't, and it's a frustration? Uh, well, I, I think it's just, I mean, I think it's just the guys are, are frustrated, you know. I mean, they're frustrated, man, um, you know. And and um, I think that, uh, you know, this, this past week, you, you, you take it to, I think two weeks ago when we played Eastern Kentucky, they – they got embarrassed a little bit when we came back on on that Sunday, and we showed some of the some of the plays and just some of the uh, the things that we that that we should have done. We should have been able to win some some certain battles and things like that, and we didn't do that. And then last week, um, you know, it's just uh, especially from an offensive standpoint, man, those guys are just they they smother you so bad. Uh, they just, I mean, they really do. Just personnel wise, they just smother you so bad. And you try to do things from a pass game standpoint, double moves and things like that to try to ease up some some of your life on your wideouts. Well, that means that you got to protect them for for that much longer. And you try to do some things in the run game, and and um, and man, those guys are just they're they're a really good football team. And they, I think they just got frustrated. You know, a lot of our, our guys just um, in those little moments. And it was good teaching. It was good teaching tape for our guys because we got to show them, uh, hey, this is this is what happened. Um, and you know, you you let your your emotions get the best of you. And uh, whereas if you just throw your hands back, you're not third and twenty five or second and twenty five or um, you know whatever the case may be. Um, you've got a better shot, especially in a game like that, to continue keeping the chains moving um, or to get off the field defensively. Clearly. I'm sure you're disappointed at the way the season has gone so far, and the players are as well. Uh, but how do you how do you handle that in such a way as to move forward in a positive manner? Well, you know, there's a couple of things. Okay, obviously this this season has not ended or, or, or has not gone uh, the way that we wanted it to, um, and there's a lot of things that you have to take into account for that. A lot of things that happen. Uh, prior to the season and what's happened during the season and just, um, you know, some things. I mean, it was it, like I made a joke to my dad the other night. We was talking. I said, man, I said, don't say a word. I said, because if you can think it and you can say it, it'll happen this season. It just, it's just one of those years, man. And um, it's one of those years that really tests your grit a little bit as a, as a player, as a coach. And when things aren't going really well for you and, um, and you don't have all your guns and you're trying to 
piecemeal some things together and patch some things together just to try to make it make it work, you know, to, to give those kids some success and, and things like that. Um, and um, I think the only answer to it is, just like I told the staff Sunday, I said, listen, it hasn't been, it, it hasn't gone the way that we wanted to up to this point. We've got two more weeks, um, two more opportunities, um, two more chances for us to um, to end this thing on a positive note going into recruiting and going into our off-season off workouts because we do have a lot of uh, young guys that will be coming back and, and uh, some of our pieces that will be coming back. We've got to go find some pieces um, to help us there at the midterm and, and next year. And, um, but it's like I told the staff, I said, hey, listen, the, the only thing that I can tell you, I don't, I don't have a Hallmark card, I don't have a, um, a cool social media tweet that you can retweet and like. The only thing I can tell you is, man, hey, you got to toughen up. Yeah, you got to toughen up. For these last two weeks, man, we've got to toughen up. Kids got to toughen up. Players got to toughen up. Uh, we as coaches have to toughen up. Um, and, um, you know, and we got to find a way to get it done. And ultimately, that's that's what it boils down to is, is we have to find a way to get it done. All of those things that I talked about, um, those things don't matter. And it was funny. I mean, this, this morning, you couldn't have, you couldn't have played it. You couldn't have written a movie any better. As soon as I get done telling them, this was in a 730 staff meeting, as soon as I get done telling them, hey, you got to toughen up. It is what it is. I don't care about the situations. Uh, the power went out for a little bit, and we had to move over to the Curris Center and, and do the, you know do some stuff. And it was just – and I kind of told the staff, I said, I told you, boys, you got, <laughs> you got to toughen up. You know, that's all there is to it. And uh, that's going to be our focus these last two weeks is um, – we're going to be a tough football team. We're going to be a tough football team. Those players are going to be tough kids. Um, they're going to continue buying into the way that uh, the way that we practice and the way that we're doing things. Um, and we're going to be a tough football team. We're going to end this thing the, the, the right way um, so that uh, we can continue to improve this thing. Tennessee Tech also, they're trying to end it the right way. They got off this. I didn't know they were going to win a game two weeks ago beat Tennessee State, play Austin P a, a really good game. Notice they didn't turn it over last week interception wise. That's been a problem with them. Yeah. What's been the reason for their improvement? You know, I don't know. I you know, um I, I think that uh, it's the same thing. You know, Sat, Sat's probably telling his team the same thing, and his coach is the same thing. Look, I mean, it's, you know, you get into this part of the season and, and your season's going like this, um, it's imperative that, that uh, you find something, whether you change your practice schemes or your practice procedures to maybe have a little bit more fun or, or, um, or, or do whatever to, to create a spark. Um, and you try to do that. Maybe you, maybe you do something differently offensively, defensively, special teams wise. Um, you know, you, you you just you try to find that spark, and you try to find something to build on. And they're probably doing the same things, and they're probably self evaluating everything that they've done, their calls, and uh, when they're making such calls, and all of that kind of stuff. And just um, you know, and a lot of times, what you do as a coach is when you get into this type of uh, uh, type of scenario. Uh, usually the worst thing that you can do is is, is just um, kind of tighten up and stay here all day, all night, and that's not going to be the answer. You know, a lot of times the answer is, hey, man, you got you to gotta loosen up. You got to loosen up. You got to have a little bit of fun, um, you know, not be so miserable um, because those players will pick up on it. And if you're miserable or your position coach is miserable, then those players are going to be miserable. You go out to practice, you have a miserable practice, you can't allow those things to happen. And uh, so they're probably doing the same things that we are. They're probably juicing up their practices a little bit, maybe doing some board drills or maybe doing some one-on. You know, last week we, we ended every practice uh, where we just took the bigs down there and rested them for five minutes and let them, uh, let the skill guys put on a show of one-on-ones. And we did like goal line one-on-ones and just, let the bigs, you know, we got the offensive linemen that are there down there doing end zone dances if the offense scores and the defensive linemen are doing end zone dances if the defense shuts them out, you know, and things like that. And um, just to try to pick up the juice a little bit um, because um, obviously that's the toughest thing right now. You know, I'm, I'm fresh out of motivational speeches and all of that on Sundays uh, where you can go in there and really uh, uh, hoorah the troops, you know. And um, so at this point, you've, you've got to do some things to create that spark and create that fun atmosphere. Um, and again, continue to build it um, so that you can circle the wagon, so to speak, when you get done, go into a recruiting standpoint, fix some of the holes that we have and some of the, the voids that we have right now uh, moving forward into next season. For the past several weeks, we've seen Noah Nichols get a lot of the um, extra workload in the offense. And last week in Jacksonville, he didn't really see any time. In Obviously, you put Rico in. 
Um, is that something you're going to continue, or is you going to? Yeah, we're. I mean, we're going to continue trying to find the right, um, the right um, uh, formula for that right there, uh, because uh, you know, going off of last week, off the Eastern Kentucky week, um, you know, when you watch the tape, we just. We missed. We just we're missing some runs right now. Uh, we're missing some runs and some reads and some things like that. Um, now Nolan, what he does do is he he does give you the ability. He can shut his eyes and just go downfield um, and, and try to bull you over a little bit. Um, obviously, I did not think that was the best going forward into Jacksonville State. I didn't think that was going to work. Um, so we tried to um, you know we tried to move Rico back there. Um, we had we had originally talked about moving him out to wide receiver and just trying to trying to get him a little bit of use his athleticism as a spark. Moved him back to running back, um, and really and truly, uh, you know, the thing about the uh, the Russian performance was was we actually um, we actually rushed for positive yards. Um, it's just the sacks is what killed us the other night. And, you know, we took so many sacks, and that 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 takes away from your rushing yardage right there. Um, and uh, but. You know, it's it's funny you watch the tape, and the thing about it is, even when you block it up and they've got a hole, uh, right now those those backs are a little gun shy, and there's a couple of times where we blocked it up and there's a hole to run through, and those guys are tensing up, flinching, and they're they're ready to get hit, and uh, so we've got to build some confidence in those guys, got to build some confidence in those guys up front uh, with with the run game, and the only way that I know to do that is is to simplify, to continue to simplify, um, and consolidate as much as possible. What can you tell us about Tech? I know Bird's having a really good season, and I know last year, um, kind of a frustrating way for that season to end. Uh, what do you know about them? Yeah, you know, I know that uh, I know that they'll be a tough team. Um, I know how Satterfield coaches, and, and um, he's going to coach them tough. So I know that they're going to be a tough team. They'll be a physical team. Um, obviously, up to this point, I've I've only watched. Um, uh, majority of defensive clips, uh, a little bit of special teams this this morning. And I can tell you one thing now: their kick uh, their kickoff coverage unit is as good as I've ever seen. Those guys fly down the field. Um, I don't know statistically how they are or not, but when you talk about an effort level and and a team that can that can change the momentum of a game, those guys can really really fly down the field. Um, defensively, um, they've got some things that they'll do from a uh, a pressure standpoint, a blitz standpoint. They're not going to just sit back and let you do some things. Uh, they'll come and, and pressure you in, in certain situations, and we've got to have a good plan for that. Um, they've got two big um, roly-poly type D tackles. I mean, just short, stocky, big kids that are hard to move inside, um, and they do a good job on the back end. Um, if they're not blitzing and pressuring, keeping everything in front, rallying to the football and making tackles. So, um, and then tonight, before I go to my radio show, I'll, I'll visit with Boone a little bit and kind of figure out what we need to do and uh, what we need to handle, you know, versus their offense um, and, and get that squared away.